Hey everybody, this is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So I wanted to do one last photo effect for now, and this one is going to be totally trashing this image. And um, the first thing you want to do is unlock this background layer. We're going to double click it while holding down Alt or Option, and that unlocks it. And then before I work on an image, I always go to Filter and Convert for Smart Filters. So no matter what filter we add to it, it doesn't actually modify the image. And I've mentioned that before in the other tutorials, but just thought I'd say it again. So now, usually when you want to uh, trash an image and make it look old, you add noise. So we're going to do that. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And 38 is way too much for now. So I'm going to use something like 3 or, uh, yeah, 3 looks fine. And it's going to be Gaussian and monochromatic. So click OK on that. And then what we want to do is create, or actually modify the color a little bit with some hue and saturation. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue slash saturation. And then make sure you check this use previous layer to create clipping mask. So if you have this on top of another uh, another image, you're only going to affect the uh, image that's directly below this. And um, you can see that in this layers panel right here, this arrow just means create, uh, that's clipped to this the selection or the image the layer. Whatever, you can make it up. And so now we want to give this a brown tint. So um, first uh, you want to click on colorize. <clears throat> and then I'm going to drag this up. Something around 30. I'm going to drag this back. And then going to drag this forward. So then this brightens it up a bit. I don't know. Something like that. And you can mess with it and get an effect that you like. And we can always go back because this is just an adjustment layer. So if you close out of this and you want to edit that, just double click here. And you can get back and work with it some more. Okay. So now we want to mess with the exposure of this. And what this is pretty much doing is going to uh, make the edges darker. So kind of like a vignette or whatever, vignette or whatever it's called, I don't know. And uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, in my other tutorials I went to filter, lens correction, and then went over to, over to here and changed this to a negative and you can see that darkens the edges. But I like to teach something new, so we're going to create a new, so rather than doing that, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Go to Exposure, and make sure you click on this clipping mask. And then what I'm going to do is bring this down quite a bit. I'm going to leave this as is, and then brighten this up. And something like that. Okay. So now we just want this on the edges. So to do that, we are going to uh, make sure you click in the center area here, grab your paintbrush, make it bigger, and then hardness of zero. And I'm just going to uh, paint away the areas that I do not want it in. Woo, super fast hands, go, go. Okay, this is me fast forwarding. Okay, that's good enough. And we can, uh, oops, click on this and bring down the opacity if it's too dark. All right, so now it's looking pretty good for an old photo, but it's not old enough. So what I want to do is add more noise and make it look even worse. Well, not worse, but, you know, different. So I filled, I made a new layer above everything, no clipping mask, and I filled it with white. And then I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise, and I'm going to make this like 38% or so just so there's a lot of it. And it's going to be Gaussian and monochromatic like before. So click OK. And this might take a couple tries, but I'm going to grab the magic wand with a tolerance of 30. And then I'm just going to click one section and then backspace. And that didn't work out. And I got rid of too much white and left the black, so I didn't want that. So I'm going to try again. Let's try clicking on a black spot. And that's looking pretty good. Let's see if we can do it again. Find a black spot. Looking better. Let's do it again. And let's try one more time looking for another black spot. 
All right, that looks perfect to me. All right, so now that we have this, uh, I'm going to draw in a couple of lines. So to do this, I'm just going to make a uh, layer ma layer mask onto this layer by clicking this button right down here. Grab your paintbrush. I'm going to right click, make this to one or two pixels. We'll start off with one and bring the hardness all the way up. And now make sure your color is black because black means that it's going to erase. White means that it's going to bring it back. So I'm just going to draw in, oops, uh, let's first change this so we can uh, see what we're doing. Go to uh, your layer properties, go to overlay, and you can see it starts to bring back the image. And then we're going to bring down the opacity. We can mess with this some more. Uh, just going to bring it to about 40 or so, 39 I have. My mistake actually, we don't want a layer mask. We want to actually paint in white lines. So I'm just going to delete that and then leave my paintbrush how it was, one pixel, 100% hardness, and I'm going to make sure my color is white. And then I'm just going to randomly draw in some lines just to make it look like scratches. So if your photo is darker, this is going to definitely look better, but I have a little bit too many white areas, so you can't really tell. I'm just going to scratch all over, and you can, maybe hopefully you can see it appearing, but uh, you can mess with the different sizes of your brush. Uh, something like this. That's good enough for now. And probably you want it on the edges where people touch and whatnot. But that's good. Alright, so I'm going to leave it at, I don't know, maybe we'll bring it down to about 35% for the opacity. Okay. And now I want to add a little bit more noise to this, or actually grain. So I'm going to create a color, a new layer above everything, and then for the color I'm going to give it kind of like a, uh, a peach color, I guess. Something like this. Maybe a little more brown. Alright, that's good enough. And then I'm going to fill it with that by doing Alt Backspace. And then um, I want to go to Filter. And then Texture. And click on Grain. Let me get this into frame. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep these settings right here. As you can tell, I was messing with this before. But it's on grain, an intensity of 12, contrast of 1, and make sure the grain type is vertical. And vertical, for you people that are still in school, is up and down. All right, so click OK. And there you can see what it's doing. Now, we want to change this to uh, spotlight, or soft light, rather. Click that. And then just bring down the opacity to whatever you think looks good. I'm going to have it about right there. That's good enough for me. And that right there finishes off this tutorial. As you can see, we did quite a big transformation of this image. Let's go to before and then after. Huge difference. So hopefully this taught you something new. And if you like this, please subscribe. Always looking for new viewers. And um, you can check us out on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash pixel for life. And I think I might be making this into an action, all of these different image effects, uh, into an action pack. That way you can quickly modify your images, but we'll see what happens later down the line. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.